Hey everybody, Daniel from The Stuff of Legend here. I just want to let you guys know that the following interview was pre-taped, which means that I recorded my questions and I sent them to Ryan at Nerdy Blurb TV, and then he did an interview with Amber Meyer, so you need to go check that interview out. It's a very awesome interview, very in-depth, and it's a precursor to what we did here on my channel. Thanks to Ryan, he was able to collaborate with Amber, get her to watch this video of my questions, and he stitched it all together, her responses, and I just really, I'm really grateful that he was able to do that. So check out Nerdy Blurb TV, and then also know that the questions and the answers to this interview were pre-taped, and I know you guys are gonna enjoy this all the same. Thank you guys so much, enjoy. Hey everybody, this is Daniel from the Stuff of Legend show on Instagram and on YouTube. I wanted to say hey to everybody out there. Ryan, thanks for having me on the show. We have Amber Myers here, interview with the actress, Batgirl campaign. Let's get to know her by asking her some questions and allowing her to give us some answers and some context, really just kind of get to understand who she is as an actress. Hey Amber, it's Daniel from the Stuff of Legend. Thank you Daniel so much for having me on your show. It actually means so much to me that you believe in me and you're just helping me out. So yeah, thank you. So I had a few questions. This will be more or less for us, the fans, um, but also so we as film fans can get to know Amber and her work as well. So quickly, upon doing some research, I see here, Amber, on your IMDb page that you were in The Fault in Our Stars. You were the apparently the mean girl in the mall escalator, <laughs> which was a really cool, <laughs> funny scene. I really... I. I like some of those uh, funny kind of bully moments in, in movies. It always adds like good context and allows you to really like connect with a character. Even if you're not, you've never been a victim of bullying necessarily. It always provides that context. It's pretty cool. You were able to be a uh, part of that. That's a big project with some big talent. And uh, that's really cool that you were able to be in there. Thanks. <laughs> I see that you're approximately 23 years of age as of the making of this video. And five foot two is also a good height. If you've seen my fan casting video for Batgirl, then you know I've already said that somewhere between five foot two and five foot approximately eight or maybe 10 if you wanna push it is the most ideal range of height for someone playing Batgirl. You want someone that's a little bit on the shorter side so that you can make the other Robins stand out visually, physically, seem much more imposing. I will add that you look a lot like Batgirl, and I think that's a huge plus. I think that it's very important to have that look, and some of the images that I was able to find on Google show that your hair is reddish. It shows in some images that you're a little bit of a, a blonde, a little bit of a brunette, um, somewhere in that middle ground. You have very light, recessive blue eyes, um, and also, when you have your hair a little bit more reddish, you do look quite a bit like Batgirl. And I will say that that's gonna be a huge plus, especially in the fan casting community, because a lot of people who are fans of the comics learn visually. And that's going to be something that is going to be helpful when you're campaigning is to show off more reddish hair. So a few quick questions. I wanted to ask you so that our fans can get to know you. Who is Amber Myers? How would you describe yourself? Can you give us a little bit of your backstory and introduce yourself to us, the fans? I am Amber Myers. No, I'm <laughs> so, um, my name is in fact Amber. I am from Pennsylvania. I grew up in the city and the country. My mom and then my dad and all of my other family. So I have like a little bit of best of both worlds. Um, in high school, I did some theater, but mostly like stage managing and stuff. And then I've danced all of my life. I took some singing classes, can't sing, but I took them anyway. <laughs> and then about junior year or sophomore year of high school, I came across this college, this performing arts college. And I told my mom, I was like, I'm going to the school and I'm moving to Los Angeles and it's going to be great. And she was like, well, you better apply to other colleges because, you know, sometimes you don't get accepted. And I was like, no, I applied to that one. That one only. I was set on it. I was going to get it. And then months went by. And I didn't receive anything. 
And I actually think I didn't get it. And my mom and I were starting to get really, really worried because I was about to graduate uh, high school. And we were like, okay, what are we going to do? We need like a plan B, you know? And then since the time zones are different, Pennsylvania, it was like maybe like 10 o'clock. No, I don't even know. Maybe I'm making this up. It was late. I remember it being really late. And Los Angeles, they called. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. It was late over in Pennsylvania, but it was early here. And in, cause I'm in Los Angeles right now. Gosh, it's very confusing. <laughs> and so I answered my phone. Cause it was like Los Angeles. And I was like, hello. And they're like, hi, is this Amber? Amber Myers? And I'm like, yeah. And they're like, we just want to congratulate you. You've been accepted to AMDA Los Angeles. And I screamed. My mom came in and she's like, oh my gosh. Yeah. I said, no, like, it's so good. We got it. So good. And we were like, oh my gosh, it was the best day of my life. This is a very long story, but this is how I came to Los Angeles, packed up my stuff at 18 years old by myself, traveled across the country and went to school for four years and received my bachelor's in acting. Question number two. How old were you when you first discovered the character Batgirl and what was your first impression of her? It could be anything from comic books to TV shows, movies, animation. What was your first encounter with the character of Batgirl? Mm. Okay, so I've gotten asked this a couple of times and I don't remember a time like or a year that I was where I remember her she was just kind of always in my life Batman the Bat family was kind of always in my life I, I want to say like eight nine around that age and it was because my mom really liked them my dad wasn't really into superheroes my mom really liked superheroes or superheroes yeah, heroes you know heroes yeah they're superheroes when I think of superheroes I think of people who have powers Batman doesn't have powers so I'm I don't know. And so um, that's about the time I would have to say that I got introduced to them because of my mother. And my first impression of her was, holy hell, this girl is a badass. And I knew it immediately I wanted to be her. It's like when you're a kid, you're so... Like you, you're kind of like squishy. You're like, you're like sponge. You soak everything in. You really believe like you could be these characters when you're young. And then some people go on to actually being actors and stuff and portraying characters and others just, you know, lose that. But for me, I kept that with me. And I'm, now I'm here. Like, it's crazy. Like, I did not think nine-year-old self or whatever would be in this position. Question number three is going to get maybe a little bit more philosophical, I suppose. But based on your knowledge and your experience of the character, who is Batgirl? And who is Batgirl to you? So, I've, I look up to Barbara a lot. And she's definitely a normal human being in some aspects. She's very smart. Very, very smart. She knows her stuff. She's she's a hard worker. And why I should be Barbara is I want people to look up. I want I want people to know that they could for one follow their dreams. For for starters. That you don't need to be a big name to be a lead in a big movie, a big franchise. That if you work hard, study, and fight for it and prove to people that you can do it, you can do anything. And that's with anything. So those are just standpoints of partially why I should be this amazing character. Um, another is that I am a curvier, shorter girl. I'm 5'2". Um, I have legs of a dancer. Um, my arms are a little built. I mean, they're not the skinniest, you know. Uh, she's human. And I really want females, males, men, women to be able to look up to that. Because not everybody gets up and works out and eats kale every day. You know, we eat burgers, you know. Barbara eats a burger, okay? Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, I definitely think 
she's just a normal human and I could really portray that. Question number four. In the world of acting, there's always going to be stunt doubles or body doubles that are going to sub in and help out where perhaps the main talent of acting won't be able to continue perhaps because of danger and that's understood. But I wanted to ask, based on your IMDb, it looks like you yourself are very athletic and you have a history of doing athletic sports and arts. You've trained multiple different disciplines, whether it be something like dancing or something like gymnastics. So I wanted to ask, on behalf of the fans, what do you feel qualifies you to play the role of Batgirl specifically? What talents and abilities do you bring to the table that would allow you to play Batgirl better than perhaps the next actress? So yeah, Batgirl definitely is athletic. She is trained in judo for crying out loud. You know, I actually wanna take judo classes, but that's besides the point. I took kickboxing classes before my acting career. Not a lot of people know that about me, but I could throw a punch, I could throw a kick, you know? Um, and I took women's self-defense. My mom took me to both of these classes for about a year or so, actually. And because she knew I was moving out to Los Angeles, and so she was like, you need to know how to defend yourself. I was like, you're right. And kickboxing is brutal. It is very hard work. I remember it was like three hours of class. It was insane. But I'm so happy I have that under my belt because you know who else knows kickboxing? That girl. <laughs> So, so I'm training a little bit in that aspect. Um, I, like I said, I did stunts. I did stunt classes in my college. There are specific, like ele electives you could take, and mine were stunts. Um, I know how to fight with swords. I know how to do physical contact, theater, and for film. So yeah, I would definitely do my own stunts as much as I could. I would definitely not jump out of an airplane. Though, not going to happen. But yeah, I do mostly everything. All, mostly all of my own stunts. Because I am trained in, I'm trained in stunts. Not the, not, not the completely best, but I am trained. Question number five. As we already discussed earlier, Batgirl in the comics has red hair. And sometimes it's been a little bit more natural looking. Sometimes it's been a little closer to Auburn. Sometimes it's been very much red, such as Amber Heard's dyed red hair in Aquaman. As an actress and as a lady, I know that dyeing your hair can either be um, a huge blessing or it can seem like an extreme measure to go to. How far are you willing to go to give yourself to the appearance of comic book accuracy for Barbara Gordon and Batgirl? Would you prefer to use something like a wig or would you be willing to, say, dye your hair if that was necessary? Definitely dye my hair. Let's do it. Let's do it. I actually was redhead for a while because I accidentally had green hair. And to take out of green in your hair, you had to put red in. So I was redheaded for a while. And I took awesome headshots, which is what's going around mostly for Barbara, which like, I'm honestly happy that I had green hair in my life because I wouldn't have awesome red hair headshots for Barbara Gordon. So <laughs> everything works out in a weird way. So yeah, I would definitely do anything to my hair to bring a character to life. Question number six. DC and Warner Brothers has been pushing very hard to create tons of new content for all their viewers, whether it be movies on the big screen, movies on the small screen, TV shows from CW's network, or TV shows on the DC Universe streaming service. There's basically four forms of continuity at this time. There's the Arrowverse on CW, where there's The Flash, Arrow, The Legends of Tomorrow, and Supergirl. There is the DC Universe movies and TV shows, whether it be live action or animated, that they're constantly trying to put out right now for their streaming platform. There are the DCEU films such as Justice League, Batman vs. Superman, Wonder Woman, Shazam, Flash, those DC films that make up one big cinematic universe. And fourth, there's going to be the DC Elseworld stories that they're going to be telling on the big screen, such as the 2019 Joker film with Joaquin Phoenix, which will be totally separate from the DC extended universe films. I know that's a lot to take in, but I wanted to ask on behalf of the fans, which of these avenues would be your preferred avenue to pursue? DC extended universe films like the Justice League, 
standalone Elseworlds films like Joker 2019, DC Universe streaming service content which could come in any number of forms, movies, TV shows, animated films, animated TV shows, or on the CW with Arrow, Flash, Supergirl, and DC Legends of Tomorrow. Which of these artistic mediums would you prefer? Would you prefer to be on the big screen or on something that is a little bit more ongoing and steady like a TV series? So, in all reality, I wouldn't pick. I think I'd be thankful and grateful for any platform that she's on. Whether it be movies, TV shows, a commercial that she just happens to be kicking butt in. I'm down for any of it. Question number seven. Who is your favorite Batgirl actress who played the character in either movies, TV shows, or video games? Or any iteration, really. Who is your favorite Batgirl? <laughs> so, I was actually watching uh, Yvonne. I think that's how you pronounce your name. Yvonne. And the Batgirl series. The Batman and Robin series. And she is so iconic. First of all, her suit is everything. And the fact that it's, like, a little bit back in the day, this TV series, it's, like... The way they edit it and stuff, it's like anytime like they would throw a punch, it'd be like pow, and it would say pow or something. And I'm like, that is so funny. Like they took the comic book and literally plastered it on this TV show, and I just I loved it. And it was like it was like a little cheesy. It was like this is I'm you're wrong, Robin. I'm Batgirl, and now you're gonna get beat or something like. She said something like that, and I'm like, oh my god, <laughs> she is so cute. And I'm weird, and so I do my own interviews, or I do, like, research on interviews of people. And I looked up a recent interview, not a recent, but I don't know, an uh, interview of her, and she goes, for her, the reason that she got the part, she said, was because she was a dancer. And that's when I was like, I look up to her so much now, like, so much now. The fact that she was a dancer, and then she came back, and I'm like, what? I can relate to that so deeply. So, yeah, I really... I really like her. She's definitely a great female Batgirl. Question number eight. On a more personality-based level, what qualities do you find in yourself that you see in Barbara Gordon? And how do you relate to the character personally? Qualities I have with Barbara. I think, well, I know I'm sassy. <laughs> I know I'm blunt. And that's exactly what she is. Confidence, I wasn't always confident, but she is teaching me. Barbara is teaching me confidence. So I'm starting to be confident. You know, it's pretty, it's crazy. It's crazy. I, I'm a pretty smart girl too. I am a 3.9 student. I mean, that might not be super smart for most 4.0s or 4.2s or whatever, but I'm fairly smart. I worked really hard in all of my schooling. And I know Barbara works really hard in anything she does. Amber, thank you so much for taking all of my questions and answering them. I'm really grateful that you reached out to me on Instagram and Ryan as well. I'm super stoked that you are campaigning for this role. It's an epic role. I love the character. We all love the character. And I hope that your wish comes true and you're able to find a spot on some form of media, whether it be big screen, TV show, um, animation, voice work, whatever it is that you're able to get started with, I hope that you are able to find that avenue because I do think that you would be a good actress to play the role. Well, I just want to say thank you so much for having me. Um, your guys' support, your show, everything is really awesome. I love your all your content. And like I said, for a small town girl that was in Pennsylvania that moved out to California, I never would imagine that I would be doing this and having your guys with support and all the people that support me. It's, it's truly amazing. And yeah, you guys are really nice and you're really nice. So thank you, Daniel. <laughs> Anyways, thanks again, Amber. And thanks again, Ryan and Nerdy Blurb TV. Really appreciate you guys having me on. Thanks again, and I'll see you guys again right here in the comments section of Nerdy Blurb TV and again on my channel at The Stuff of Legend. I'll see you guys next time.
Hey Amber, hey Ryan, thank you guys so much for having me be part of this interview. I'm really grateful that I was able to collaborate with you guys and just be a part of this experience. It was a lot of fun. Amber, you were really pleasant. I really appreciated your answers. Um, it was really nice to get to know you a little bit and I think that the fans and the viewers are going to really appreciate getting to know you a little bit more and we're all looking forward to seeing your work as you continue on in your acting career. I hope that everything goes well for you and that you're able to find work as Batgirl. I know that there's a lot of opportunities out there, whether it be TV, movies, animation. There's a lot going on right now and I hope that you're able to uh, make your dream come true. That would be really cool and I can't wait to see more about that. Ryan, thank you so much for hosting this editing this video, uh, sending it back and forth to us. I know that I'm not the most technologically savvy guy in the universe, but you most certainly are. You're the greatest of all time. I appreciate it. Anyways, guys, thank you so much. You guys stay tuned for more right here on The Stuff of Legend.